this is a cute little doll that I actually got from one of my daughters and I decided to keep it for myself because you guys know that I love Cabbage Patch dolls, okay? I want to show you one of my top secret Cabbage Patch dolls that I do not let my daughters play with, okay? I did when they were younger, they kind of tore it up. This is from 1984. Okay, you can see they tore it up a little bit. It had the original diaper and everything. My grandmother bought me this doll. As you can see, the yarn hair is different. Very cute, see? We like matching faces. All right, the reason why I wanted to show you to this, as for show you guys this, is that I know that I've been watching this trend and I've been watching these videos. It's called buckle fat removal, like in your jaws, like right here, right there. Like I like the plumpiness of it because I've always get my cheeks pinched and stuff when I was younger. Like I kind of like Shirley Temple, right? Or like a little cabbage patch doll. I don't really. I mean, I'm not against people doing that. Or whatever, and I was. I looked at the videos where they talk about like the lipo here, like here, right? Because you know, see the lipo here, you're supposed to have like a special. I'm just not gonna do that if it don't, you know, come down by me on my weight loss journey. And I'm a bigger woman, it's just not gonna come down. It's interesting to me though, I like to watch and kind of look. But the reason that I'm gonna get against it is more so for like medical reasons because there's a lot of facial nerves. And I listen to a few plastic surgeons that say a lot of them won't even do any type of plastic surgery you know what i'm saying here anymore a lot of them are opting out of it because it kind of could leave like you know what i'm saying that buckle fat out of your face it give you like this this type of look like and it's cute on some people but i think you can still achieve that look with makeup you guys know i'm a newbie to makeup i've been practicing makeup you could do that by a little contouring and then also by fasting, intermittent fasting, changing your diet up, doing a little keto, maybe losing some weight, you know, stopping eating meat so much, stop eating out. There's other ways that we can, like, achieve, like, a smaller face. But you should want to do it for yourself. Don't do it because you have toxic men or women that are pressuring you or call themselves being, like, adult, really grown, middle-aged bullies or whatever because you're not kissing them at night. They don't pay your bills, and you guys are not friends. So a lot of that social media stuff, if you see any of that negative energy block them. I have a block list that's almost uh, 300 people. If I see that your content continues to keep being negative, you keep throwing pot shots and shade and stuff like that, I'm just going to block you. If you call that being your profession, that's cool for you, but I'm just not, I don't want to hear all of that negative energy. But for me, I did my research on it, and I'm not interested. Baby face, Cabbage Patch Nelson. Double chin and all, over and out.